Fonnie Willis. She's expected to get back on the stand again this morning after a combative hearing yesterday where she defended paying for some fancy trips and outings with straight cash. I paid for uh, a bunch of stuff. I think we did two different wine tours that you do, which are pretty expensive. Um, I think I bought him. He likes wine. I don't really like wine, to be honest with you. I like Grey Goose. Jimmy Fallon is the host of Fox News Saturday Night with Jimmy Fallon, and he joins me now. Jimmy, that was an interesting detail. A lot of interesting details were I, offered up by her. I, first and foremost, I do find her credible when she says she likes Grey Goose. She did strike me as a bit of a vodka drinker. Mm -hmm. Maybe Nothing even before the, maybe even before the testimony, though, is the point <laughs> I'm trying to make Boy, here. Yeah. What's so like disgraceful on a serious note is that's a prosecutor that makes life-altering decisions every day and has the authority to do so. Mm -hmm. But if you watch it. I mean, you know, we use the word clown show a lot, but if ever there was a day, you know, she kept talking, I'm defending democracy. Was democracy her stripper name? Uh -huh. Because what did any of that have to do with democracy? But if she was on trial, because she's like, I'm not on trial. That was like the big, like, I'm not on trial. Okay, but your integrity is. And it flew out the window. And were she to be on trial, her lawyers might would have shot themselves when she was like, you know, I took a lot of cash from my last campaign, held on to it, yeah. so baby could do some shopping. Yeah, it's not exactly exactly the look we're going after. Yeah, I think that, I think it was a defense mechanism from yeah. her. Like, she was trying to uh, display that she, th that this is beneath her. So yeah. she's going to give unnecessary detail. Uh -huh. uh, and then the lawyers were like, you got to stop filibustering. Yeah, because you know where it really undermines faith in the, ju the judicial process is we were told this wasn't, you know, personal. This wasn't politically motivated. But as you can see, this was very personal for her. Mm -hmm. Both the state of the prosecution that's collapsing right now against Trump and her integrity itself. Yeah. So, good show. Well, don't take a shot at Grey Goose every time the word cash was brought up. There <laughs> was, was a lot, lot of, of <laughs> there was a lot of talk about cash and the whole point was that she was trying to prove that she didn't financially benefit from this, uh -huh. that she paid back Nathan Wade for mm -hmm. all of the trips that yeah. they took, all all the things that they did together when well, they were a couple. Mm -hmm. but here's a yeah. quick clip of her talking about that and some advice that she gave. Watch this. I always have cash at the house. That has been, I don't know, all my life. If you're a woman and you go on a date with a man, you better have $200 in your pocket. So if that man acts up, you can go where you want to go. I don't need anything from a man. A man is not a plan. A man is a companion. I don't need anybody to foot my bills. The only man who's ever foot my bills completely is my daddy. I mean, some sage advice from her, I gotta be honest. I, no, I appreciate her singing Independent Women by Destiny's Child the way she did. <laughs> yeah, she but definitely if, did. But if you did a shot of liquor every time she directly answered a question, you would have done zero shots of liquor. Uh, yeah. She didn't say anything. It was There's just a big, that. giant filibuster. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, I think we, as the American people, got some greater entertainment out of it. I think the judicial system really took a shot yesterday. Yeah, it reminded me a little bit of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the fact that everybody was like glued to their TV yes. watching this courtroom drama. So I guess what does that say about all of us? Yeah, as no, well? it's <laughs> that. Jimmy, thank you so much. I will see you on Saturday. Fox News Saturday night. I will Carly Shimkus. I can't wait. Classing it up. It's bring be great. bring your gray goose. There you go. Saturdays, 10 p.m. Eastern time. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.